My name is Darren Merlo. I'm the owner of Torque Lock Structural Systems, and I'm making this video out of pure frustration. I've been fixing structural cracks in swimming pools, foundations, decks, any kind of concrete. I've been doing it for over 30 years. And when I'm starting to see some of these other repair products pop up on the market and these other antiquated methods that really just don't work for concrete repair, it made me so frustrated that I wanted to shoot this video. So let's get into a couple of methods that I want to discuss first, and that is epoxy injection and epoxy injection failure. Look, if epoxy injection is done on a swimming pool application and they show you that they're going to use one of these type of guns, um, or they're going to use a single mixing tube type epoxy, try to understand something that that is throwing money out the window. It's a hundred percent waste of time of money and it's going to recrack again. And the reason is, is again, when we have a subterranean structure, meaning it's buried, it's underground, and we have one wall to work at and we don't have exposure on the back wall, you're pumping epoxy into a structure and you're not getting full penetration. And when companies say that they show you port to port penetration, uh, all you're literally seeing is what's on the surface. But you're most of the time you're literally pumping epoxy behind the wall, it's dripping down and it's not really getting into that crack. I've tested this over the years. I've done structural repairs, we've done epoxy injection where we actually dig out the backside of a pool and we can see that we don't get any penetration as far as that's concerned. Now epoxy injection could be good on anything above ground to know that you're getting full penetration from both sides. But on a swimming pool application, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money, don't do it. Another thing is, is we have these carbon fiber staples. These carbon fiber staples are an absolute joke to the industry. You're better off literally putting a band-aid on a concrete wall and putting epoxy over them. These things snap. These are carbon fiber. They literally break. They have these ends on, the, on them that are supposed to grab the wall. And if you'll notice, I mean, these things bend out like you wouldn't believe, okay? Then we have these other type of carbon fiber or Kevlar they call stitches, um, which is just literally you're trying to glue this to a wall. You're trying to take this and glue it to an actual wall. They don't work. What does work are post-tension staples. Torque lock post-tension staples, they're the only controlled post-tension stable on the market. So you literally set these into a wall, you countersink them into a wall so that they can be plastered over, tiled over, or whatever you're gonna do, and you can control the amount of compression between the two pins that are on there. And by using a torque wrench and achieving a certain torque, you're actually pulling these pins together and you're creating a control compression, so therefore you're going to get a lot less failure. So not only do we have uh, repair products with torque lock for flat surfaces, but we have them with 90 degree radiuses and we also have them with 45 degree radiuses where we can actually put our cam in and we can control the compression between either side of the crack. Come visit the website for more information.